Hey, welcome to Share My Toolbox. The amazingly smart people at your company are providing you with a modern mobile platform that will resource your day-to-day -day when it comes to managing small tools. So what exactly is Share My Toolbox? Share My Toolbox was designed to enable field workers to take control of the tools and equipment needed to execute their work. In order to stay efficient and profitable, companies need to share tools and other items across a workforce. Sharing efficiently requires several things. Everyone needs to know what the company owns. There needs to be a quick and easy way to borrow tools from the company. Everyone needs to be able to see who has each tool. There needs to be a quick and easy way to transfer tools between people. By using a mobile app along with asset tags, Share My Toolbox enables the operations team to better manage tools. For you, searching for a needed tool is quick. Swapping tools between people is easy. This helps tools move from where they are idle to where they are needed quicker. The efficient use of tools makes projects go smoother and helps the company thrive. In this video, you will learn where to download the app and how to sign in. How tools get assigned from the company to employees. How employees can search for and borrow tools. How to scan tools in the field. And how to return tools to the warehouse. Let's get started. Getting the app. Share My Toolbox is available for both iOS and Android smartphones and tablets. To get the app, scan this QR code or visit sharemytoolbox.com slash app. You can also search for Share My Toolbox in Google Play or the Apple App Store. Signing in. Your company administrator will set you up with an account. You'll receive an email from Share My Toolbox or from your company admin with your sign-in information. How it works. Before we dive into the fun stuff, let's get familiar with some of the basics of Share My Toolbox. The main components of the system are the company. This is the company you work for, where your user account resides, and where the items and tools belong. Items. These are the tools, consumables, or other materials that the system can track. Connections. These define who has responsibility for the items. For example, you are a connection as an employee. Connections can also be virtual assignments, such as a repair shop. Locations. Not all companies use locations. But if yours does, then locations such as job sites and warehouses can be added to tools when loaned out. Just to recap. A company owns the items. Those items can be loaned out to connections who take responsibility for the item. The items can also be allocated to a specific location for further reporting and tracking. Home screen. When you first open the app, you'll land on the home screen. Let's take a quick look at what's available to you here. Action tasks and reminders. Up top you'll notice the action tasks and reminders section. If there is some action waiting for you to take, it will show here. For example, if you need to accept tools loaned to you, it will show as an action task. The system can also send out reminders based on a specific item. For example, a reminder could be set to get a calibration on a tool on a particular date. Below tasks, you'll notice status cards that show you how many items are available at the company and how many you have borrowed. To view the details, simply tap on the card. Assignment of items. So you're probably wondering how the tools and other items get assigned out. It's super easy. One way companies can assign items is to loan them to you as an employee connection. Your company admin can select from an available inventory of items they have set up in Share My Toolbox and loan them to you. But don't worry, you're in full control. When you receive those items, you have the opportunity to say if you actually got them or not. This can happen either by scanning a barcode on the tool or by clicking Accept. Some companies may require that you scan an asset tag if one is available. Borrowing items. There may be times you need to find a certain tool or item and it hasn't been loaned out to you from the admin. No problem. Using the Share My Toolbox app, 
you can quickly perform a search to see if your company has the item. You can search by warehouse location, or you can search company-wide to see if the tool is loaned to someone else on another job. Simply tap search. From here you can type what you are looking for in the search box, or you can filter the available inventory by category, manufacturer, status, connection, location, or type. Let's search for a jigsaw. Here, you can see there is one available in the Charlotte warehouse, and there are a couple loaned out to other connections. You can easily see the status by the color on the card. Green, available. Red, loaned. Orange, pending loaned, but not accepted yet. Blue, loaned to you. You can also quickly see other information on these cards, such as location, connection, job site, and if the item is bundled as a part of a kit. By the way, kits are simply a group of items that get bundled and moved together in the system, they all get loaned and all get returned together. Okay, let's get back to seeing if we can borrow that jigsaw. To borrow the available one in the Charlotte warehouse, simply tap on the item card. Then, tap borrow and optionally select a location and or do backdate. An action notification will be sent to the admin in order to confirm. You will receive an accepted or declined message for your request in your action information notifications on the home tab. What if that one on a job site is closer and you've got the OK from them to use it? Just tap transfer to generate the request. Again, you'll know if the request was accepted or declined in your information notifications. Scanning items and viewing details. Ever see a tool on a job site and wonder whose it is? If there's an asset tag with a barcode or QR code, all you have to do is scan the item. Share My Toolbox will show you who it's assigned to and the status. Remember those colors? While we have an item pulled up, let's look a bit deeper at what else shows on the detailed item record. On the first overview tab, you can see the status, the return warehouse, the current location, and below that, you can toggle to see more information about the item, including a map with location information. On the tasks tab, you can see if there are any action tasks associated directly with this item. The Notes tab contains any notes, including attachments associated with this item. And finally, the History tab shows everything that's happened with this item, from its creation in Share My Toolbox, to loans, transfers, returns, and more. Returning Items Once you're done with your tools and other items, it's important they get back to the company so others can utilize them. To start the return as an employee, just go to your borrowed items in the app, tap select and then mark the ones you want to return. Tap return and then confirm. You could also narrow your list using the filter option. For example, if you're on a specific job and it has been set up as a location in Share My Toolbox, you could filter the list by that location to easily select those items. Or, you could even scan the asset tag to bring it up in the app then select return. Whatever works best for you. Once you return the items in the system, an admin will approve once they've confirmed. Alternatively, if you are standing in the warehouse, the admin can just scan an item and mark it returned without you having to do anything in the app. Transferring items. What if you are assigned items to use on a specific job for a period of time, complete the job, but need to keep those tools for the next job. No problem. If your company uses locations, you could simply select those items and tap, transfer, and select the new location. This way the responsibility of the items remains with you, but can be allocated to a new job site or location. This process can also easily be accomplished by an admin. Let's recap. Share My Toolbox is your modern solution for efficient tool management in the field. With this app, you are streamlining your day-to-day -day operations, ensuring that tools are where they're needed, when they're needed, and that they get back to the company when they're done. 
Here's a quick recap of what you've learned today. Getting started. You can download the Share My Toolbox app for iOS and Android, and your company admin will set up your account. Basics. You familiarized yourself with the core components of Share My Toolbox, including the company, items, connections, and locations. Home screen. The home screen provides a convenient overview of your tasks, reminders, and the status of items at your company. Items. You've learned how to navigate the item screen, view item cards, search for tools, and apply filters to find what you need efficiently. Assignment of items. Companies can assign items to you as an employee connection, and you have the control to accept or decline these assignments, either by scanning barcodes or clicking accept. Borrowing items. You can quickly search for tools and borrow them using the app. The system shows you the availability and status of each item, making it easy to borrow the one you need. Scanning items. Share My Toolbox allows you to scan items with asset tags to identify their owners and status, improving accountability in the field. Returning items. After you're done with tools and items, returning them is a breeze. You can do this through the app and an admin will confirm the return. Transferring items. If you need to keep tools for the next job, you can transfer them within the app or have an admin handle the process. By using Share My Toolbox, you're contributing to smoother projects and helping your company thrive through efficient tool management. Get started with Share My Toolbox and enjoy a more organized and productive workday. Get more training videos and help articles at www.sharemytoolbox.com help.